here at home now in Cincinnati. Yet another day of protests wrapped up just moments ago with a birthday celebration. Except that person being celebrated is dead. Brianna Taylor was killed by Louisville police while they served a no-knock warrant a couple of months ago. Her death, along with the deaths of George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery, sparked this national movement. Alexa Helwig joins us now live from Washington Park in OTR, where the Tri-State paid tribute to Brianna on what would have been her 27th birthday. Alexa. Kyle and Paula, well, it is a very different scene here at Over the Rhine than it was last Friday night. You can see there's nobody behind me. There is an 11 p.m. curfew tonight, and it seems like everybody is following that. But tonight here in Washington Park, it was all about honoring Breonna Taylor and all black women. Um, like I said, just about an hour ago, this entire field was filled with hundreds of people who were here to celebrate her on her birthday. It was a vigil for the, a Cincinnati birthday vigil for her, and it was an open mic night. When will we realize that it's okay to go against the grain? After a long day of protests, it ended with a night of music, speakers, and spoken word. And tonight, balloons, candles, and happy birthday signs filled Washington Park here and over the Rhine. Because today, of course, again, would have been Breonna Taylor's 27th birthday. She was shot and killed by Louisville police officers back in March. And the death of Taylor and more recently George Floyd sparked protests around the country. It's day seven here in Cincinnati. And since then, hundreds have been out every single day spreading their message about police brutality and racial injustice. So tonight, one of the co-organizers, he told me something pretty powerful for tonight's vigil. Um, he told me that oftentimes people during protests are marching and thinking about black men who suffer violence by the system, but black women are often forgotten. So tonight was to honor them. We just really wanted to make sure we were bringing that to the forefront. Uh, our black women bear witness to a lot of the violence in our communities. They are suffering in silence many times. They are dealing with the invisibility of not being seen or heard. And so we really want to make sure that our movement and our justice movement includes black women as equally as it includes black men. We're out here again at Washington Park, and like I said before, it is a very different scene than it was seven days ago last Friday night. There's nobody out here. Again, that curfew does go into effect. I think it's right now at 11 o'clock. Cincinnati police have been scouring the area and circling um, this part of over the Rhine just to make sure that everyone is going home. And the organizers here, they were encouraging people to go home and be home before that curfew, and they could just come back again and do it all again tomorrow. But for now, we are live in Over the Rhine. Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. Thank you, Alexa. And there have been no arrests the past few nights here in Cincinnati. 